my favorite music in the entire game. Welcome back, Star Ocean. Ryland here, Revorce Tower. We are killing G Revorce. First, yep, we have. I haven't been using Eerie at all, just so you know. I'm just gonna flip around my party for a minute. There we go. Formation. I have to put them back into the lower square. No, diamond ship. That's good. What I want. Yeah, that's what I want. So what we're doing now? I love this music. I'm sorry. <laughs> this music is just awesome. And of course they have gold statues. For some weird reason. As we fight even more color palette swap people. The knights aren't even color swap. They're just like a deeper shade of purple. But not even very deep at all. As Percy uses dream combo. That's her specialty in cat food secret skill. She pretty much just hits the enemy until she misses or they die. So that can be anywhere between, um, what is it, like, uh, it can be anywhere between like 20 hits or 100 hits, depending on how strong she is and how much she hits them. This being the best place so far, this be being the best place in the game right now in order to get, um, what is it? new equipment and everything like that. There are no shops. This is just one plain dungeon. The only dungeon you would probably have is if you had the familiar skill, which you should have right now unless you've been flying through the game, even though that's probably not the case. But yeah, a lot of these places are pretty much just doors that connect to random areas, which is kind of weird. And I I kind of like the symbols that are on the floor. Not the ones that are square and uninteresting, but the intricate ones that are just kind of lines. Four, five, six, seven. She hit them with like a rubber mallet. It's awesome. Ten. Yeah, I think I've gotten her up to, I think, about 40 before it died. Because it's not so much as her, her strength for it actually starts at about like two damage and kind of just multiplies from there. It depends on how strong the enemy is. Now here, come on. I want specific things. Oh yeah, Medusa eyes. Medusa eyes are fun. I should actually have Millie here because she knows the spell. And Paracy is... Damn it. Paracy is paralyzed! That's great. So yeah, she gets to pretty much not be there. Uh, Alright. To do. I have to go. I'm just trying to figure out my way. Uh, yeah, let's just go up the stairs. As there's weird buggy eyes. Hermit Helm. Hermit Helm. Oh. There we go. Better, better. Much better. And the Marvel Sword. I think I already. Yeah. Alright, what else to say about the Reforced Tower? It's one dungeon, plenty of floors. There is. A puzzle in here. But of course I'm just going around collecting chests is pretty much what you're going to do. And a lot of the times I'm actually getting pretty distracted by the wonderful music that's playing. Because it's so fun. Star Club Doom Blade. I am getting way too many items for Seus. I wish there was actually another person that could actually use them. Seus is the best for getting equipment and why is the Yeah, fiery gate. Fiery, fiery gate. <laughs> No clue why. Apparently that's like the back door. I don't know. But eh. Come on. Damn it. Alright. So, yeah, I don't really like the symbols, the red circles down there, because it pretty much looks like, oh, we're technological. Blah 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 blah. But you're pro uh probably wondering how much more of this LP is there going to be? Well, that would be spoiling things. You could say that this is the last. This is pretty much is the last. Cause Oh yeah, we get Elven Caps. Elven Caps being the first item in the entire game. In terms of actually running around and not actually focusing. Oh, Meteor Swarm. Yes. Meteor Swarm. Excellent. Excellent thing. Oh yes. Meteor Swarm is a spell for both Joshua and Renexus. It's an excellent
excellent thing to have. And yeah, those symbols are the ones I like. It, it, I don't know. It's just something I like. Uh, you have to get through this door, which actually should not go anywhere because it just leads into blank wall. But whatever. You have to find the switch. And of course, in the second room, everything is everywhere. Ooh. You barely get... Yeah, the elven bow. The one you get... You get two. Why? Ah. <laughs> There's no reason why there should be another bow. Renix is the only bow user. And also, Renix's is the one who doesn't get an ultimate weapon. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, let me see. Uh, do I go this way? Yeah. Let me see. A lot of this is... It's like every single dungeon, I'm not gonna lie. Let me get another elven cap. There we go. Hey, now he's fully equipped. I need more star shields. I hate that a lot of the things that you're actually going to be using a lot of the time, you cannot duplicate. You cannot use the magic color on in art skill. Such as like the Star Guard or like any of the ores or anything like that. And now we go up to I believe this is the third floor. Third floor is full of eyeballs. Eyeballs everywhere. Eyeballs reason? No reason whatsoever. It, they're just eyeballs to look creepy. I guess he's supposed to be creepy. Uh, this is pretty much just treasure. And treasure, treasure, treasures. Dual suits. I think I have too many dual suits, or not. There we go. Dual suits are pretty good at this point. I think I've actually passed the point where extravagant armor and extravagant swords are actually good. Which is sad. Because <laughs> there's no point in getting them anymore. Oh, there we go. Millie is going to look like Link. With those with those boots. Not the not the hat. But the boots. I don't know why the one's glowing. You'd think that'd be glowing for a reason, but then a lot of things are glowing. I think it's just light. The lighting effects in this game. They're trying them. All I can say, 1996, they're trying. Fourth floor Yeah. Save point. For some reason. I don't know. Uh, here we go, the puzzle. This isn't really much a puzzle as it is trial and error. There are switches in every single room. Five switches in all. What you have to do is push them. Pretty much. However, you have to push them in a certain way in order to get the, um, the door up to the north, because this is a big, huge, circular area, open. You have to open them counterclockwise. How do you know this? Trial and error. Or you look at a walkthrough. Because, hey, there is an excellent walkthrough in there. But yeah, I think... There we go. Now it's open, and we can head on to the final areas. Here we go. The music changes. The music changes. So next time, on Star Ocean... The final walk to G Revorce. This is Orion, and I'm gone. See you guys.